Vlogmas. Welcome. Vlogmas week. Do. Let me just give you a little, just give you a little update. I got up at 5.30 a.m. It's 8.16 p.m. on Thursday, November 29th. I've only had four hours of sleep. <laughs> Super fun. You just gotta love how life works. So I've had this thing planned this morning where I was on this show called The Drive with Jesse Jones. Super fun. I'll link it when it's available, probably in the new year. Knowing I had to be in Toronto for 8 a.m. I had to get up about 5.30. It's a whole thing, right? Come home from school yesterday. Well, I pick up the kids from school. Dad's staying over because Dean had to go out of town to Alberta to see his mom before her big surgery. Um, Dad's in town. Esme starts to not feel well. I'm like, no. So what happens? She gets a fever. And I'm talking like a no joke the kid was on fire, like, all night. I gave her all the fever reducers, didn't even put a dent in it. <sighs> she had to have two baths in the night. Or no, one bath before bed. I always, like, give them not cold baths, just, like, warm-ish baths. But to them, it feels cold because their bodies are so hot. But once her hair is wet, then it's like it just releases some of the heat or something. So anyway, then she cooked all night. She ended up sleeping in the bed with me so I could keep an eye on her. But... I am a mother, and I don't know about you mamas, but when my babies have fevers, like, I'm not sleeping. I am stressed out. Oh, and then she puked. We all know how I do with puke. So that was an experience. Anyway, very limited sleep. Drove into Toronto. I was actually supposed to attend a holiday party this afternoon in Toronto. Couldn't do it, because you know what? By the time I would have left and come home, I'd actually only be getting home around now because of traffic, and there's no way I could have driven home in the dark. Too tired. Did I ever tell you about the time I fell asleep at the wheel? I'll have to share that sometime. Anyway, as my feeling better, I bought new pajamas. <laughs> like, I just need to put them on. I need to have a shower and like wash my face because I had full TV makeup on today. <sighs> Some days are just a little tricky. However, I'm extremely grateful for the experiences I get to have in my life. Like, it's super cool and I met amazing people and it was really fun. It's just... Okay, so first step, I'm gonna pop my AirPods in. I uh, can't clean, can't work out, unless I have music going. Like, I just need the distraction. What to do with my phone? That's typical. And my friend just told me about a brand new uh, podcast. Let's see, it's called, I think it's called Happier in Hollywood. And uh, I'm gonna give a little, little listen here. Shameless plug. I have a podcast, The Sandwich. You should go listen to it. I will link an episode. I'll link my favorite episode below. And then you'll have to tell me what your favorite episode is. Okay, so this is what I'm about to do. And then I'm going to strip the sheets off the bed, tidy the main floor, throw on a load of laundry in the basement. And then in the basement is where I have some kettlebells. Um, I think we have some free weights. I have, um, what are they called? Those workout discs. And I have an, act, uh, an activity. <laughs> I have a workout that I'm gonna do. So we'll do it together. As you know, I've been going to the gym. If you watched Monday's video, which is here, here, um, I'm going to the gym. So that's been awesome. But today, I can't get there. I have a sick kid. Yesterday I missed the gym because I was in Toronto all day working. Dean's not home until late tomorrow, so I'm gonna miss the gym till Sunday. Not that that's a big deal. I feel better when I work out, and so let's work out. Also, just for like outfit of the day, I am wearing a Joe Fresh uh, active wear top. I do have a cute little sports top, woo! It's Joe Fresh. <laughs> and then I'll show you my pants. I have some Adidas um, workout pants. I've washed them a lot, so I keep feel like they're kind of fading, but I do enjoy them just to kick around the house. These are not actually ones I would wear to the gym because I think the butt gets a little see-through if you bend, so I won't show you that. But, um, oh, and then these are my new kicks. These are my Nikes uh, that I wear to the gym. So let's do it. else do this so I take my fitted sheet and I fill it full of laundry and I schlep it downstairs because of course all my empty laundry bins are downstairs and you know what I want to make one less trip am I right This is a heating pad, by the way, and when you live in an old house where the insulation isn't great upstairs, it can be kind of cold. So I like to warm up my side of the bed at night. <laughs>
fresh bed sheets and they both wanted cold ones so these are not flannel these are like the summer sheets little weirdos all right One thing I did not tidy was this bookcase because I just, I can't right now, <laughs> but I did refill. So my kids have, um, what is this, a cool mist humidifier and they both suffer from like, they just get coughs and chest things. And I blame my darling husband because as a kid he had bronchitis all the time and now gets it and he gets pneumonia like in a minute. So anyway, I have that going every night and also it kind of works as like a little bit of white noise. They do have a tiny closet, a couple things hung. I put their little, you know, basket of toys at the bottom and beds are made. There's their little night light and they have drawers in the bottom of their beds and that's it. We're good to go. So upstairs is tidy. I'm gonna go bring this downstairs. Start some laundry. making a tea. This is um, David's tea, cream of Earl Grey, which is quite lovely. So that's steeping nicely. And Mystery. Esme and I, who her fever has somewhat gone down. How are you feeling, kid? Um, that I threw up a while ago. Yeah, Esme throws up because she's not like the taste of Advil. And her fever kind of spiked. Anyway, so we're just chilling this Saturday. So we're gonna play Clue. You guys have seen me play a lot of games lately. This is not, this video is not sponsored, but we do enjoy playing games. So we're gonna play some Clue. I haven't played this in years, so we gotta figure out how to play it. I don't know how to play. Me neither. Okay. And this little dude is just watching some, hi, got enough drinks? Yeah. <laughs> so it's a quiet Saturday in this house. Because Esme was homesick with me yesterday, I ended up getting a lot of laundry done, so I'm just finishing that off today, which is kind of nice, because I usually leave that for Sunday. I'm kind of like got a tickle in my throat and feeling a bit tired. Honestly, it's been a week. Like if you follow me on Insta stories and you would know, but like I had this really early morning shoot in Toronto and then Esme was sick that night, so I didn't sleep very much. And it's just like that compound effect of lack of sleep. So last night I went to bed at like 10. I was in bed, it was 9.45. I for sure got at least like 11 hours of sleep, which was beautiful. Although you know when you're not used to sleeping, your body feels a little tired. So anyway, Dean's home tonight. Uh, my mother-in-law had a quadruple bypass this week. Like it's been it's been a week of heavy emotions and I'm so grateful that he was able to go and he's home tonight so that'll be nice to see him anyway I'm picking up I've done my online order for the groceries we're picking that up in like an hour and a half but yeah it's just uh it's like no it's like let's let's watch Christmas movies on Netflix kind of vibe you know speaking of the holiday calendar I really like that movie kind of in love with Quincy right now it's a thing Okay, tea, board games, let's do it. So we just did a quick grocery and I did an online grocery pickup. So you're gonna see some, it's like a mixture of processed for lunches and stuff and then stuff that I'm making. Okay, so my kids love Pringles. Anyway, got some raisin bread. I have uh, run out of hand soap. These were on sale. We have some yogurt drinks, coffee. This is my favorite brand of coffee, Lavazza, and um, this one was on sale. Cheese Whiz, we have some yogurt. I'm making a broccoli cheese soup. These are little things the kids like for lunch. You've got those little squishy snacks. Uh, those were on sale too. Gross, as my likes yogurt. You know what, she's sick and she'll eat these fine. <laughs> we got some mini croissants. Jack and Esme are not sandwich kids, but I thought that these would be kind of fun to throw in um, as a sandwich substitute. Pogos, who doesn't love a pogo every now and then? I am gonna be making some peppers or peppers and sausage kind of meal tomorrow night. This is for my broccoli cheese soup. Some sandwich meat, bacon, orange juice, coffee stuff, we've got the half and half for the soup, milk, yeah, there we go, and some blueberries. So that's like a, just a haul. I do get questions from time to time, like do you budget your groceries? I wish I could say yes, but I don't. I've sort of mentioned this before, but I have this thing with food where like, it doesn't matter how much it costs, I'm buying it. I feel like that might stem back from like, there were moments in my childhood where our fridge was a little bare and I just, I, I think I will forever have a fridge that runneth over. We all got our problems. Am I right? Okay, off to make some soup. Dad and Jack are fixing up our outdoor yeah. wreath. It's 
So Dean's putting all new Christmas balls on this year is red and green. Right, Jackie? Yeah. So he made this last year and this hangs on the front of the house. Looks really nice. <laughs> yeah. Well, of course, the flu is not stopped rampaging, rampaging, working its way through our house. Jack's now got a fever, started last night. This is on day five. Just dump them up. We'll Just dump get them there. Up the now, I am making nice. a cup of tea. Cup of Earl Grey. Cream oh, of Earl Grey. I love this little thing. So Dean asked for one too, so this one is cream of Earl Grey. And this one is also David's tea. Oh, it smells so nice. It's uh, sugar. Wait, hold on. What's it called? Candy Cane Crush. This is a treat, let me tell you. It's got like white chocolate and crushed candy cane. It's lovely. So here I sit on Monday. December 3rd and uh, I'm like in a panic because Mondays is my day to get all sorts of stuff done get videos out it's the season of sponsored videos and so there's like certain things I have to get out and of course both of my kids are still sick like Esme is on day six day seven of a fever and here's the thing I know you treat the child not the fever you know and she's fine she's feeling better um, but that dang fever it's like a proper flu and ironically enough I'm the only one who's had a flu shot in this house so you better bet your bottom dollar that I'm gonna get those kids vaccinated once we're I mean they are vaccinated but they're gonna get their flu shots once everyone's better Jesus anyway so this is brutal uh, Dean's home which is great he has a cough it's just, it's a little too real right now. But in other news, I have very cute pajamas on. I got these pajamas from Joe Fresh and I love them. Um, they're very cozy. Ugh. Okay, anyway, back to work. Just want to say hi. And everything is a mess on my desk and it makes me crazy. And if there's a bunch of crap on my teeth, I apologize. I just had raisin toast. I want my third cup of coffee. Hence the very buzzing energy. Okay. I will say this. I'm gonna try to get to the gym today. Like, I just need to leave this house. I have been in this house for days. So, we'll see. We'll see how the day goes. Well, this is how my day's going. Crapping, crapping, cracking open some Junior Advil, which is ibuprofen, to take down Jack's fever. And uh, I've had to change the beds on my, oh my God, I can't even speak. I've had to change the bed sheets because when I went out this evening to go pick up some more Advil, Jack ended up projectile vomiting uh, all over my beautiful $300 duvet. So a little bit miffed, a little bit frustrated by life right now. What, why, 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 why? Legit, my children have had fevers for seven days started last Wednesday and it's Tuesday night. Esme came home, it's like a real flu. They each threw up. Oh, thank God Dean was home through part of this because like, I don't even know. Now I have like sinus stuff, headache, so I have my own Advil to take. You guys, <laughs> thankfully, I did go to the gym today and I went yesterday, although I didn't go crazy hard. Like yesterday I went pretty hard because I was feeling okay. Today I just took it easy. I just kind of figured, you know what, Dean's gonna be away for the next like two days and I gotta keep my sanity, you know? Oh God, I'm so tired. It's 8.30, I'm going to bed. Once those children's eyes are shut, your, your girl here, I was gonna say your mama, what? This girl's going to bed. So this has been a week to forget, honestly. Mm-hmm, over it. So let's hope that Vlogmas week three is significantly, significantly, can I speak better? I'm gonna see my brother. I think that'll be in vlog this week, week three. It'll be better. Anyway. <sighs> okay. I'm gonna wrap it up. Thank you for watching. I'm sorry that this was not as entertaining as usual, but it's real life. In other news, I think I'm gonna read some of this tonight, Dare to Lead. I started it ages ago and then never picked it up again. And then my friend Valeria on Instagram, Lipovetsky, we're not BFFs, but we're friendly. <laughs> she was talking about it and I was like, I should read this book. I started it and it's good. And stuff is good. Stuff is good, it is good, everything is fine. Okay, that's it. Subscribe. Did you listen to the latest podcast? It was a good one, season two just wrapped. Don't miss it, links below. Okay, I'll talk to you in the next one. I'm out, bye.